Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you've ever wanted to find duplicate rows and their primary keys, then you're going to want to watch this video. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okie doke, let's get started. What I'm going to do here is create a table in one of my databases of students. And these students are, have duplicates by name and age. So let's show you the duplicates. So you can see here when I run my query, I have duplicates for Alice, Bob, Charlie, and so on. And what I want to do is actually write a query that will just show these pairs of duplicates and the IDs. So how can I do that? Because the easy way would be just to group by name and age, and I could see Alice and Bob and Charlie and their ages, but I also want the IDs. But one way I can do this is using a window function. So let me show you this window function idea, and then we'll walk through it, and I'll show you how it works. So by using a window function, what I can do is I can create partitions logically internally to use to do counts and sums and other operations and what I'm going to do with our window function here is use it to count the number of rows that are within a name and age so we're going to as we go through our result of students we're going to count up rows that have the same number of um, rows with the uh, um, same name and age and then we're just going to get a count so if i was to run this right here what you'll see is i get alice count of two because there's alice at age 20 twice where you see eve at 19 is only once so the window function is really cool in that regard and i still have the detail that's the bonus because when you use like our group by you lose the detail now the thing I'm doing on the outside here is I'm using a drive table. That's what the sub thing is right here. It's this little drive table. And I'm telling the drive table, I'm like, yo, only show me the rows where the count's greater than two. That would be these guys right here. The count greater than two are the duplicates. So let's run this and let's find the duplicates. And here they are. And look at, and we got the IDs. So now we know which rows are duplicates and what their primary keys are. Isn't that cool? And this was a short video. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned a lot. Take care, bye.